Well, good morning. Again, our, our, our hearts go to the family of the one. Um, as we proceed with service today, laying down, laying to rest our brother, the Lord, let us all pray. Father, we are coming before you. We are asking, Father, for your peace. We are asking, Father, for your comfort. We are asking, dear God, for your grace and your mercy upon the family of our dear beloved brother, Alex, Alex Fabius One. Thank you so much, O oh Lord, for his life. Thank you so much, O oh God, for the friendship. Thank you so much, dear God, that, I was, that we were able to know him, not only as a friend, even as a brother in Christ, I pray at this very moment, Lord, that your name and your mercy and that your grace, O oh God, will be magnified today in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we pray or before we hear the word of God, I would like to sing a song for the family with my wife.
Bible is saying, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pasture and lead me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for His name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. For you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. For blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all, in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them with those who are also in trouble by the comfort with which we, we ourselves are comforted by God. To the family of one, to mommy, baby, sister Elsa, and to the children, I would like to let you know that this is just a temporary separation. One day there will be a grand reunion in heaven wherein you will see our dear brother together with Christ and with all the saints. This is what the Lord said in one of the songs that, that is so popular, How Great Thou Art. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation, take me home what joy shall fill my heart. <coughs> then I shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim my God, my God, how great thou art. The Bible is saying, and this is for every one of us, right this very moment, this is in regard to the brevity of life. Life is short, life is short. Bible is saying it is appointed unto man once to die the next is the judgment there is a time there's always a time a time to live and there is a time to die brother Alex the good news is this because he believed in Jesus Christ he did not die he died physically he lived. If there's a time that Brother Alex truly lived, it is now. Living in the very presence of Christ. Living in the very presence of the Lord. And I would like to ask our dear pastor, Pastor Joe Patar, to pray for us right now and pray for the family and I will close with prayer. God for the life of Alex. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to know him personally. Thank you so much for his faith unto you. Bless the family. Bless Elsa and Ati Baby and the children. Oh God, you are the only compo. So we expect you to be with them. And I know they still they believe in you. And you promise to every believer, so oh God, that you will never leave us. You will never forsake us. You will always be with us. Give us wisdom to know and to focus. You are always present in our life because we believe unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And today, tonight, or this morning, Give this cross Sister Elsa. Before 
before I give this to you in honor of mommy baby, would you like to hold it first before I give to her? I come before you, Father, as I lay my hands, O oh Lord God, on this two, one, on this family, Lord, the family of the one. I pray first of all for mommy baby, and I pray, Father, for sister Elsa and for all the family. May you grant them your peace, O oh Lord. May you grant them your comfort. May you grant them, O oh God, your grace as they mourn and as they grieve in the midst of these trials of this pain. In Jesus' name, 